Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 7. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about that is how can we include partial files. So first of all, as we know that in the last video we had discussed that how can we create master template layout file. So this is the concept somewhere we are going to implement in that master layout file. So first thing first, we need to understand that what are partial files. Go to next tab. Let's say we have a website. Inside that website, the number of pages we have called equals to 6. In those 6 pages, we have a header, navigation menus, sidebar and footer. So by the help of the concept of partial files, we can actually separate our reusable code modules. Now if I back to editor, this is our master template. Inside this master template layout file, we have a header. Inside this header, we have a navigation menu. As well as if you go at its footer, here we have a footer area. Now inside this master template layout file, this is the area which is common throughout all the web pages. This is the area which is also common throughout all the web pages. Inside this master template, we have a dynamic area which is going to render all about dynamic web pages contents. Now let's say that this is the file which is going to contain thousands of lines of code. Now we are going to separate this template file by means of using the concept of partial files. So simply this is only a simple HTML what we have integrated. So right now inside this header we have only the basic lines of code. But let's say when we integrate any admin LT theme or ED admin theme or simpler bootstrap let's say website. So in that case inside this header we have a bulk of codes. So what I will do simply collapse this header collapse this footer, press Ctrl B, go inside our views folder, here inside this includes folder, so either we can create partials folder directly inside this includes folder or creating partials folder inside this views folder. You can create your own custom name. So views, go here, create a partials folder. Inside this partials folder, I will create two files. The first file is for header. So let's say header.php. Next file I will create, let's say footer.php. And what I will do, go inside this master template file, cut all the code of header, go inside this header.php and simply I have added our HTML header code inside this header.php file. Go inside this footer, cut all the code and pasting it here. This is our footer.php. Now this time these are the two files which is our partial files. Go inside this master.php. Now if I back to browser, let's say that simply if I run our application index.php about us, so this is a web page content of about us page. Now inside this page, we don't have any header as well as its footer because we have separated and created a separate new two files. So we need to include these partial files inside this master template. So what I will do, let's say this include and inside this includes, we need to go inside partials folder and we need to call header file. Let's say if this partial folders will go inside this includes folder, so the path should be called this include, includes folder, then partials and then header. Now if I copy this path, pasting it here, this time we are going to add our footer.php partial file, save all these changes, go and reload this page. Now we have a header and we have a footer. So by the help of concept of partials file inclusion, we can actually reduce our master template layout file code. So if you are making any website, in that website, if you have bulk 
of codes inside a single file then you can separate each module of that file by the help of partial files based concept it will reduce the code length as well as create a let's say neat and clean code structure with partial files in the next video we will see that how can we include our assets file so inside this video session guys if you're in doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day